Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the number two review of group number 10, dry snuff, nasal snuff. Now, all of these groupings, as I always say, are all in one playlist. At the end of this video, that playlist will pop up along with a very short monetized video due to monetization restrictions on this. That is how the channel is funded. If you would take a look, I would greatly be appreciative. For this one, we are going with Toke USA Kentucky Bourbon. Okay, so Toke USA is basically a subline of Toke. You can tell that it is a Toke USA product, partly because it says TokeUSA.com up at the top, but beyond that, you can tell because of the swirl starburst pattern, which I have forgotten the name of. There's a name for that pattern in the background and the changing colors of the background. Toke regular line products are always in canary yellow. So this one. Now, as far as the product in the can, is there anything different? There is the flavors are usually tweaked a little bit if they do have one corresponding in the regular line. And the product itself, usually has a higher moisture level. More along the lines of a German, like Polsch product, not quite there, but it is not as fine and dry as regular line tote products. So with that, let's take it over to the desk and take a look at the packaging and the product inside. Okay, and here we are. So. It's pretty straightforward. You have a uh, metal two-half tin, all right, and there's one sticker on the front. Warning label. Everything's pretty straightforward there. There is nothing on the back, and there is no cellophane. Now, this is a screw-down can, so... There is no need for a wrapper to hold it to make sure it's secure. And I am not worried about safety-wise because this came directly from Toke. All right. So with that, we will open it up. And I forgot to settle it. So hopefully I don't pay for that. No, nah, not too bad. Okay, and there you go, and that is registering exact from what I'm seeing in person, although I would like to get a little more light on it. So the product is, as you can see, got a slightly more, more rather has more moisture than regular toke products, regular line products. That's why you're seeing the clumping. And that's why it is sticking to the spoon end, even though I'm turning it basically up. Now, see how that... So that's what you're looking at there. Let's see. Do a rub here. Now, it is a fine mill, okay? It's fine flour, but the moisture level, if you are you know, in the know of tub products is considerably higher. All right. I'm not smelling anything off this, but I do want to say now that I am not a fan, never was, of Kentucky bourbon. Nothing against it so much, but I am not a fan of it. And with that, I am not really a fan of the smell of it. So even if they get close here, I most likely will not be a fan of this, all right? that That's the bias. I will try to be fair. I will tell you if they got close. But do note, I am not a fan of Kentucky bourbon. All right, so let's take it back up top, and I will see, or we will see, what I think. Back in a moment. Okay, and we are back, and we are moving right along here. We're under five minutes right now. Sure, that's about to go sideways on me, but whatever. Anyway, so let's see. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, it actually. <laughs> oh God, what have I done? Uh, it it actually smells like bourbon. Uh, like, mind you, I've not been around bourbon for many years now. Okay, but it's not something you really forget. Whew, wow, and it smells like it. I almost feel like I feel that in the back of my throat, and I haven't even done um, And if it's a little bit off from Kentucky bourbon, no matter what it smells like, it smells really, really strong. I'm a little surprised that I was not able to smell that when I opened it at the desk. Oh. Uh, wow. Okay, well, whew. hopefully this doesn't count as a relapse, but I can't see how they possibly did this without dousing tobacco powder with bourbon, but whatever. Okay, now I, I'm just doing a pinch of this. They're sneezing, come and get the lid back on, get the lid back on. <coughs> oh. 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 Did I get the lid back on? I think I did. Not wearing it yet. Wow. Okay, so my eyes are watering now. Um, to me, I mean, it's been a long time. And when I say I don't care for Kentucky, that doesn't mean I didn't drink it. <laughs> it means I didn't prefer drinking it if there was anything else. Um, it's got a considerable burn initially uh and that higher moisture content isn't really easing the taking of it <clears throat> I almost feel like i got in my throat nicotine is definitely there and the smell the scent i think to be kentucky bourbon i mean if anybody should know what alcohol scents are Um, is there a product for me? No, no, I, I don't care for it at all as I thought, but if you are interested in something bourbon-esque, you definitely want to give this a try. Um, I think they've hit pretty close to the point. The nicotine is good. It's not overly beginner friendly. All right. Uh, so, I mean, it's not some, none of this stuff that I say, it's not really for beginners. You, beginners can still do it and they can still success. There's going to be some sneezing. There's going to be some sneezing. And if you take it too far, although I don't think it having a higher moisture level, it hasn't gone too far. But I mean, in general, you could take it too far. You could be coughing, sneezing, et cetera, and so forth. Um, I think personally, for myself, there are a lot of Toke products and even Toke USA products that I would be more into. That said, again, if you're looking for something that's Kentucky bourbon themed, I think they've gotten pretty close here. All right. The nicotine is there. It's heavy enough it doesn't go all the way back because of the moisture level. And, you know, it's it's just one of those things. The, the flavoring, the scent is not my bag. Just isn't. Never was. Not even when I was drinking. Um, all in all, though, I mean, it's a quality product. It's in quality packaging. Again, 
you don't need a safety seal with something coming directly from Toke, and it's a screw down lid, so it, it's not like anything needs to be held together. So this has been my review of Toke USA Kentucky Bourbon. This is, by the way, the 10 gram tin, and this did come, as I said, from Toke snuff.com not affiliated that's where i got it from it does ship from germany it's got slightly extended shipping times because of that i am assumed tied to but you guys i do thank you for watching do take care of yourselves and as always god bless